the time I really tried to um, boost the innovation awareness in Slovenia. And being an engineer and then later on moved into the management and uh, now I've been an entrepreneur for about nine years. Um, I was actually doing lots of stuff that David later on told me that it's called innovation journalism, right? Um, but once we started talking and once I got more involved in the initiatives that were uh, developing, I realized that this is a bit more than just another kick or just another thought of a modern society. Um, and uh, it's a great tool that could be well implemented and uh, well explored in order to really um, help people to realize how important each individual is, how important the individual stories are, how important also the individual contribution to the well-being of society is. So, um, Slovenia being a really small country, I could not just work with journalists, right? I mean, I, when I came from Stanford the first time, I called a couple of friends who were in journalism, uh, a bit more than 20 actually, and uh, I started talking to them about this, and they said, well, you know, you can tell us to do something, but it's a dialogue, it's not a broadcasting issue, right? We need uh, uh, good people to talk to. We're not, uh, we can't just write stories that nobody wants to tell. Uh, so then I started working, my passion are models, so excuse me for that. <laughs> so I realized that I need, I set myself a vision, I always set myself a model, and then I go out in the field and I manifest and try the ideas and then I readjust the model. So that's how we came to some sort of proposed innovation space model because uh, journalists were right. I mean, who do we talk to? How do we really get information about innovation? Uh, so this is, of course, not a perfect model, but that's what I work with with my team and with, um, in order to really get the innovation consciousness going. And uh, as you can see, media is one of the important stakeholders uh, and, if you want, actors. Those with, S, uh, with stars in the bubbles, uh, <coughs> those are the actors that we then started working closely with. Uh, started to encourage them first to really actively start leading the dialogues among uh, each other. So we hooked up media and companies, media and education system, media and local communities, media and universities, organizing different types of workshops, uh, debates. Uh, we also have a yearly conference um, where we bring all these stakeholders together and open up important issues on innovation space. And media is just one of the team members in a discussion. However, they meet really interesting people on those conferences and they get stories, right, firsthand. Uh, so what we're realizing is that uh, society really needs an infrastructure for people who care and want to do something to meet and have an open dialogue. Uh, and innovation is one of the very important topics. So uh, I was asked to speak a bit more about education system, which we, uh, really attacked systematically. So what are we doing? We kind of checked where the youth is in contact with innovation and we realized that those are in relation to companies, corporate environments, uh, to within schools and also from it's important to keep consistent story from the kindergarten to university. So we actually started working with kindergartens, well, elementary schools, with high schools and universities. Um, and introduce the concept of innovation communication, which is a little bit more broader than just journalism. However, journalism was all the time that emotional sort of um, emotional platform that we started from. So if I bring a bit closer to, um, to the INCO Junior, as we call it, which is uh, kindergartens, elementary and high schools, and uh, here we realize that innovation journalism, innovation communication, it's a layer, right? It's not something really new that can stand on its own. So we started hooking with interesting projects that schools already have, and we brought a group of kids, taught them about innovation journalism, innovation communication, and then they started reporting on the project that kids have. So they became a journalist, really, within their own environments. And that happened also on a university level, where uh, we trained a group of students, and they worked, again, with incubator, university incubator, and reported on new entrepreneurs that were coming out of the university incubator. 
So uh, as I said, what was important, David, I can feel and I will finish to just allow me to quickly yeah. go through the concept. Uh, what, what it is really important is that they had a platform, and that's what I'm encouraging you to think in direction and try to check in your own environment if there is a platform that exists because dialogue is what really counts. So we came up with a award system, we have a conference, we have workshops, and what is, was for students important and kids, that in parallel we had workshops for teachers as well, that they can then follow the change in mentality and understanding with kids that they could follow them uh, while they were, they were um, attending the classes and work in different workshops. As you can see, kids were very actively present. And they became a modern journalist, I hope, because they were using all kinds of tools. They were doing, uh, using computer internet tools, they used pen and pencil, and they were drawing different, uh, different pictures as well. So we really tried to engage all kinds of communication tools in order to actually engage them more literally in understanding the innovation, in reporting on innovation, and having a critical uh, view and point of view on what it can do for the society. So that's a couple of pictures from that uh, that show you how kids were working. And we used very modern tools uh, that usually in corporate environments we use for participation models and collaborative thinking. And kids are great. <laughs> we shouldn't uh, underestimate them. And, and you, you also uh, work with a professional journalist. So right now we have yeah. in the program uh, at Stanford, we have one uh, journalist from Slovenia who is participating, who now is in a US newsroom reporting on the innovation system around, uh, uh, around health care. What we do is we have a workshop, it's called Stanford After Stanford, that it's actually meant for media. And we do the transfer of knowledge of things that you guys uh, introduce at Stanford. And then we, can, uh, we have also a word for them, and that's how we follow their progression. And I can tell that in four years, things have changed for the good. Uh, so it goes slow, because it's a social change. It's not just a conceptual, it's a social change. It goes slow, but it go if you really make small steps, you can see in a couple of years progress. I also found that you got the kids' stories to be accepted by the uh, regular yeah. sort of news publications as well. The major news uh, magazine opened up uh, on a portal a special page for, uh, for the kids who won rewards, and they publish their articles now. And a couple of them from the students, uh, student articles, they actually moved to the major page, which was a big reward by itself for, All right. for young writers. Okay, thanks. So